Hi, uh, good evening, everyone. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the time to start with a cute joke, which I had actually put in my first slide. Um, right, so, you know, quickly start about, like, for us, like, we are Nike, we, we sell beauty, and, and who are the influencers for us? And, and, you know, we kind of get to it. So I thought, you know, that this is kind of just a, just a context where we start from, right? So we talk about which is the fastest uh, mode of influence. You know, you start with telepathy, maybe something like inception. Then you telephone television, and, and that's important for us, right? Tell a woman. Obviously, the last one, please don't take it literally, it's just a joke. So, so for us, every consumer that we have is an influencer. Wait, 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 one second. I think it's not coming properly. You just have to experiment. No, it's not coming, like there's some problem. No. So there's another circle there. So anyhow, we can, we can uh, in respect of time, we can stop there. So we talk about all consumers being uh, influencers. So, so we, uh, we developed a method called Dream, which is basically we define, we reach, we enable, we align, and measure. So uh, define, as we said, who are our influencers? As, is every shopper on my website an influencer? Maybe yes. Is everyone who comes back on my website after a month's time and subsequently second month, third month, is an influencer, hell yes. Like, the most loyal shopper is, is the biggest influencer for me. That is my first point of identification. What is my second identification? The people who talk to me on my social angles, on my social properties, are they influencers? Yes, because they will go and tom tom about my brand and talk about me. So we define that this is the set of influencers. The next step is how do we reach out to them? And, and again, there are innumerable platforms. In beauty, you have to place content right at the top, but it's just not about what you write, it's just about where you publish, right? So you, you think through the entire journey of a consumer through the day, what is the time when she goes to a social network, maybe the new sites, and then maybe uh, some of the DIY videos on YouTube, and then coming back on mobile. So you have to ensure that you're there on all the touch points, because influence is a constant, or rather constantly engaging activity. It's just not one shot that you do and you kind of get away from it. So we ensure that we are there at every touch point. We have the blogs in place, we have the videos in place, and, and some of the people who we can't catch on blogs, we chase them to new sites. We, we start promoting our content using Taboola or Outbrain and we make sure that we, know we get the people right up to us. Now the next most important factor is that how, how do you influence the influencers, right? One is you identify and the other part is that, okay, you've reached out to them. What is their motivation to talk about you, right? I mean. Gratification takes to an extent, but you need to get deep down into the psychological level and understand that what is in it for her to probably pass on the influence for your brand, right? So, I mean, there are different people with different purpose. Some want to step in as a subject matter expert that I will give you the beauty tips, you should listen to me. Some of them will be that I am the trendsetter. Whatever I do is a new trend. And, and some of them would be like, I am the deal hunter. I mean, I can get you the best price and nobody can else think about it. You understand the aspirations of the influencer. And when you touch them, you empower them at that point. Right? That's what we call it as our ammo. So we, we empower them. We make sure whatever inspires them and motivates them to take their influence forward, we empower them with that. And the next is, is enable, right? So, you know, we, we talk about how you, once, once they're convinced that they want to use their influence, so what are the channels where you, they can actually go? So, so again, there are numerous ways, you know, we have the custom coupons where, you know, the people who purchase something, and again, the referral system that they refer their friend, the friend buys, then they get discount, both of them get discounts. So there are numerous measures that we have for that. And, and you know, different way of, you know, kind of fulfillment, right? You can do it through social media, you do it through coupon codes, you do it through remarketing of the extensive list that you build using the, the content outreach. And I think uh, the most important part about this, which I would talk about is, is the measurement, right? Which, which you kind of get stuck. So we, we kind of not cracked it to 100%, but I would say about 50, 60% accuracy. We figured out that if the influencer channels are not converting directly. What are the other channels they are impacting? Right? So we, we call it like an attribution model where we figured out that if we do something on the blog or DIY videos, how does it impact a transaction through a Google search or a Facebook ad? And we got our attribution scores in place and, and we figured out that the, uh, everything that we do in influencer marketing impacts the paid marketing to 2 to 15x level. So that is one of the ROIs which you kind of understood. And, and secondly, obviously, the, the impact of the, the increase of direct traffic. 
Uh, we have one of the very few uh, startups that have kind of witnessed a 40% month-on-month uh, increase in revenues through direct. So that kind of takes us ahead of the pure play, play, pure players of beauty like Purple, and maybe we are not there at Flipkart because they are more of a marketplace. But the direct impact is is the strongest uh, uh, kind of stimulus which we see in influencer marketing. Thank you.